Hello everyone and welcome to ProRPA.com. Today, I'm gonna briefly touch upon the various parts of UiPath package. So let's get started. First is the UiPath Studio. This is the place where we make our bot from scratch. It has activities on the left, which are nothing but predefined functions that you drag and drop into your main program. All these activities have some of the other properties associated with them. These are shown at the right hand area called the properties pane. Many of the properties are same for different activities and we learn about them through practice and playing around with the tool. Next to the properties is the outline and this is where our process flow hierarchy is displayed. Right, so just to give a quick overview to someone who may not know anything about the functionality of your bot that you worked upon, this can be very useful. We also have different data items that uh, we have used in our program and it is pretty much the same in any programming language. These data items, they change their values based on the uh, business logic that you are implementing and these values you know if you want to intermittently display them in a in a in the program then we have an output console for it where we can display these values this uh, pretty much you know sums up the basic elements within the UiPath studio next comes is the UiPath robot so um, the bot that we created in UiPath studio right it is simply a program to make it a bot we actually publish this which is right here and yes it has been successfully published and over here as you can see uh, when the this this is when the bot becomes available in UiPath robot and uh, we can run it directly from there and this UiPath robot it's a background process and is available in the in this taskbar uh, of your Windows desktop right you can see um, because I already had it published but uh, let's say I want to get the most updated version which I published from my UiPath Studio then it's asking me to download the most recent version or the update it and here it is and I can start the process from here itself right last is the UiPath orchestrator um, so let me uh, pull up the dashboard it is it is a very beautiful dashboard available on a server instance and uh, you know it provides functionalities such as um, maintenance, scheduling, um, queues, status updates, progress, failure versus success, execution analysis, etc. Right? This um, this tool or this uh, part of the UiPath is highly highly business oriented, and it has very minimal to do with bot developers. Right? And uh, just give me a second let me try to pull up another so this is how um, an orchestrator actually looks like I haven't published any robots yet because um, of some limitations with the trial version right the da dashboard in itself is very very interactive and is unique to play around but uh, in our next posts we'll be delving more into bot creation process within the UiPath Studio right at last I want to mention a few points for us you know that we should remember while creating the bots these include like an effective naming convention so that once let's say you're giving a summary on an or an outline of your bot or your process then it becomes pretty self-explanatory for the person and uh, always save your subsequent versions of uh, the bot as new programs by using save as right and what you can do is you can just click on control uh, either just go to control s or over here you have save as and um, try to make your robot as robust and efficient so that it works at all times and even if there is any uh, abrupt uh, you know any process that is sort of hindering your bots normal execution then at least you're able to log that thing and uh, you know probably once when you come back and you are let's say uh, looking at the log document you're able to identify which all 
um, let's say data items or, or what part of the you know of your process actually didn't go through or which part went through so that you know you won't have to start everything from the scratch so um, this is pretty much it um, next time we'll be delving more into data variables and probably starting off with uh, a very basic uh, bot creation awesome thank you very much please do subscribe post and comment on the video on my youtube channel and on my blog post as well i look forward to hear more and more from you guys and uh, thank you very much and happy automating